about to begin between EAC and UPHSD. Earlier today, Avellano taas ang pit pa ng Manalo Martin after trailing most of the game against CSB, 87-81. As high as 13 points, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. And then LPU securing win number 9 to finish the first round on skate. Defeating Papua U, 97-74. Sheer amount of effort ang nagpapanalo sa LPU Pirates. Ibang klase, blue collar, pag naglaro yung mga bata ni Coach Tung Pex Robinson. Si CJ Perez, Baby Beast, was a player of the game in that one. 18.7 boards, 3 assists. Para sa native ng Pangangay, Pumunto, Bautista, Pangasinan. Jerome Garcia, Utampo. Oh! That was a good play. Just not able to score. Ilaga challenged by Garcia. Good challenge from Jerome Garcia. Oh, Pagsaksyon Roberto. Nakuha mo ni Pasco ang bola. Now to Jerome. Garcia. Now on Roberto. Another three. Mendoza. Tampok is asking for it. Back to Mendoza. Thought about it. Garcia won't hesitate. Pidot secures the ball back for Perpetuo. Hinahabol ni Juan Wolverine. Tumuloy-tuloy si Coronel. But there's Ilagan with a putback. And GJ Ilagan scoring his first two points there in this game, Martin. Good clean up by GJ Ilagan. Not giving up on the play. Getting that basket for the Perpetuo help. At last, dadalo mo na lang itong kalabangan ng EAC Generals. Pagsak si Pidot. Taxia. Putting some moves. Oh, in and out. It's a hard shot. The defense all over him. Pido. Nagamon. Drives again. Favorite move. They got Nagamon. He was able to use that same move towards the left. The baseline drive and was able to score. But that time, he was fouled. He will head to the line for two freebies. GJ Ilaga get that pass. That points off the hustle and on the susunod na attack Gap Dagagon sinabi mo which he'll wipe her move attacking the baseline getting a foul College and for University of Perpetual Health System Delta, 43 all Martin. Bautista. Juju with a spin. Sees as it was there. That's why he dropped it off to Tampok. Tampok has to let it go. But again, that's a Roxanne Montelego with her fourth quarter report. Andre, you mentioned Kanina Mamba mentality, but if there's a player here who is a huge fan of Kobe Bryant, that would be team captain GJ Elagan of the Perpetual Health Altas. At sabi nga niya, kaya 23 ang jersey number niya. Not just Kobe Bryant's birthday, but his birthday as well. May 23 and August 23 for Kobe, who recently celebrated his 39th birthday. At nagdag pa niya dyan, as a team leader, lagi nga daw niya pakalala ang Mamba mentality. Do not give up because things are hard. And now, they're just squeak, squeak fast the firepower of EAC to maintain that they have to, they, they cannot lose their balance and sabi ni Coach Jim Wilgica, they have to play against uh, as if their backs are against the wall forget their mistakes they have to convert and challenge the threes of the opposing team and sabi John Andre thank you Roxanne great report Mamba mentality eh? EJ Laga here's the fourth person foul in Alvita okay, Pok balikan natin the three pointer ni Mutsayak is fourth Already has 12 points this afternoon for our Vivo perfect shot, perfect selfie. Coronel. Is it? Trying to get the ball back for perpetual help. And ball will stay with the Altas. 642 remaining in this game. Dog clock has been reset to 14. V 
Pinto. Y Lagan. Download to Eze. Bautista. Tumunsaya. Nakuha muli ni Keith Pido. Tumunsaya asking for a double dribble. Pido goes closer. Up and under no. And Eze underneath. Nangihinayang si Keith Pido. And look at the Bugamin. Complaining and pleading. Perpetual help last time they led again was way back in the first quarter. Booger was just called for his fourth personal foul. That's why he was adamant, insisting he did not commit the foul. Wala ang bola sa saka kamay ni Dagangon. Oh, yung sayang, down hard. Nakatama pa sa kanya dun yung teammate niya. On Uberia attacks. Eze with another rebound. 14 boards already for the Nigerian. Pido. Oh. Difficult shot falling down. Still hitting that one. And now, Perpetual Help gets the lead back for our eighth lead change today. Andre. The officials letting the players play. On Uberi. And he will head to the line. AJ Coronel, dinawag na kanyang pangatlong personal foul. That's his third personal foul. First team foul for federal help, fourth and final quarter. Not the shot that you want him to take, but it's Eze going up to 18 feet, shooting a jumper instead of staying in the post and getting those offensive rebounds. Oh, hold it now. Eze with the rebound. Oh, and the quarter. shot. Pido. Pido with just eight points today. Garcia. Yes! Sarah's address. Score three for Jerome Garcia. Got his first basket since. His last one way back in the first, Martin. He has total of eight points, his second triple there. Giving EAC a three-point lead. Under five minutes remaining, Ilagan. He has been really cold in this game. For Prince Eze Andre, 13 points, 80 rebounds, and four shots blocks. Inaantay pa natin na magbigay pa siya ng additional firepower dahil nga gumagawa na naman ng run itong EAC Generals game for quarter. Ilagan lumapit sa wakas na pangalawang basket na doon si GJ Ilagan. He was scoreless in the first three quarters, but two baskets here in the fourth. Matatandaan natin, Andre, dalawa dun sa early wins nila. Parehas si GJ Ilagan na nagdala ng larong yun. What a block there by Eze on Juan Ubera. I believe there will be a foul, though. Hold on, Eze, his first. Where it secures a free throw. Oh, it's a little bit of 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 a little
ni Kimi Rabueno, ha? ating floor director dito. Kumaway naman ulit din yung Miki. Kumaway si GJ Lagan. Kumaway si Miki na Rabueno. <laughs> 18 and 15. The numbers. Yeah, yeah that's right. Big numbers. Monster numbers. Consistently playing that at the level na hindi hindi sa kanya dahil nawalan nga sila ng isang big man na mataas ang production dito kay Hamadou Lamino. Pushing foul ball on Sidney Onoberi. Pakalawa yan. This Sidney today. Fourth, uh, make that fourth personal foul on EAC. Look at the free throw story here. Martin, perpetual help. Just 8 of 23 from the line. Imagine. If they hit all their free throws, eh, di ba, kanina pa sila lamang. Kahit kalahati lang na, Andre, kanina pa dapat sila lamang. And that's why coaches would remind you after doing drills in in practice, before you leave, at least make 10 straight free throws each player. Napaka, napaka kaunti niyan, napaka daling gawin, but it gives you those wire-to-wire -wire wins, eh, sa mga dulo nagkakatalo free throws talaga. Pwede kang ano, no, balikan sa dulo. Exactly. Juju Bautista. Otmovere guarded by Tagangon. Garcia using that screen. Garcia fires. Did not get the bounce. Tagangon off to Pido. Perpetual trailing by three. Ilagan to Tagangon. Yes! Maganda talaga itong laban natin, na Andre, hanggang sa dulo, nagpupukpukan ng oh. dalawang teams ito, walang bumibigay. Nakikita mo, pag merong 50-50 ball, dalawang manlalaro, minsan apat pa nag-aagawan. Under three minutes to go. Munsayak, down low, Juju Bautista, fall away by Juju. And Eze secures another rebound. Rebound number 19. The Nigerian behemoth. There's that gap, Tagangon. Trailing, scoring in the middle. Tagangon, on Sibutos na. Jerry Jago comes back in. And five fouls na si Rostan Pugarin. I'll start off the game after starting this one. 16 minutes split, four points. It's a single board. Here's Eze. Prince Eze. One of six at the line this afternoon. Now make that two of seven. Sabi siya, man, may unig yata ako eh. Pang crucial. Oo, pang crucial. Andre, balikan ko lang ha. Pag natinignan mo tong perpetual health altas on the defensive side of the ball, every time that they are on that part, tignan mo, laging nakastay low eh. Makikita mo yung mechanics nila. If they're on the ball, they're always ready, ready to help, ready to retain. And they have a big backliner dito kay Prince Eze. That's why they're keeping the score low. They're one of the best defensive teams in NCAA Season 93. Perfect mo lang. Mahirap yan, lalo na pag yung mga in-game, pag pagod ka na. Pag-digitan. Oo, at saka mababaw lang ang rotation nito ni Coach Jim Wildikan. At the most, he uses nine guys. So makikita mo yung effort na binibigay din talaga ng mga players na doon. Two minutes to go. We're tied. 52 all. Coronel, big one if he knocked it down. No. End it. Offensive board. Still no. On Robert gets it back for EAC. Garcia. To Munsayak. Inside of Pao. And Jego. Tutuko sa linya. Baka sa dalawa. Free throw. These are big free throws for uh, oh, uh, Jego. That's his fourth personal foul. AJ Coronel just called for his fourth and personal foul. Here's our Vivo player Vivo profile. 6-2, guard forward for the Altas. Nine points, four boards. Block shot Results today. For Jego. Ooh, Jego misses a line. Lamino, medyo nakina yung dun. No, it's really sorry for her. I feel sorry for Ramad Lamino. Yung lamang helpless ka, kasi magtulungan yung yung opponent, especially in these moments. But he has to sit it out the rest of the season. So again, our prayers to Hamadu Lamino.
wala naman siya magiging program, uh, problema rather sa pag-recover dahil ang EAC ay known for their physical therapy program. They're really one of the best schools in the Philippines when it comes to that. Garcia steals the ball back para sa Emilio Aguinaldo College. Garcia off to Pasqua. He says, take a look. Back to Garcia, guarded by Ilaga. Down to Juju Bautista against Gap Dagalon. Bautista, the kick out to Pasqua. Six to go. On Wolberry, fires a long bomb. Marugol at Yon Wolberry. On Wolberry attacking. Tagangon gets the ball back for the Altas. The Generals are three men down on defense. Oh, but a turnover for the Altas. On Wolberry attacks Coronel. And he gets fouled by AJ Coronel. Rinagasa si Coronel. But AJ didn't plan to speak, Martin, to draw the offensive foul on Ron Mubere. Coronel, that will be his fifth. He is done. Fouling out this afternoon to see AJ Coronel in 29 minutes of action. With four boards, nine points today. Look at Onwubere's numbers. Import-like monster numbers mula kay Sidney Onwubere, Martin. Doing the job of two men. Ito si Sidney Onwubere. Almost a Barbara Walters 2020 para dito kay uh, Sidney Onwubere. Ito na naman sa mga reference mo. Of course. <laughs> Onwubere knocks down the crucial free throw to the delight of the Emilio Aguinaldo College students. Amado Lamino asking for one more from his partner. And Otto Bennett, six, another crucial free throw. Coach Jim Walgiga, tatawag ng timeout, 45 seconds remaining. Kami po ay magbabalik, lamang na tatlo, ang Emilio Aguinaldo sa Perpetual Health. Coach Ariel Season. Jack Howe comes in. Different moves from different coaches. Like a chess match, but a close game for this third offering we have for you. It's 25th of August, year 2017. Again, earlier, College of St. Benil losing to Arellano University, 81-87. That's the final score. Arellano going up for three wins and five losses. Tying with EAC and perpetual health. But when wins in this game, Martin ay aangat with four wins. At bababa naman yung Maratalo going 3-6, going down to Arellano University in the team standings. Lyceum of the Philippines University scoring their win number nine, sweeping the first round. Running the table on everyone. 9 0. Winning over Papua Yu, who's at the bottom of the team standings now, 1 and 7. From number one, 
That was an interesting foul by Zhang Hao. They had 37 seconds to make a stop. Sigurado mapupunta sa kanila yung bola. They didn't need to foul, but he fouled. And they foul Raymond Pasqua, who's now at the line. It was a 65% free throw shooter. 13 of 20 in the season. Si Pasqua sa line. Clean there. Getting a breathing room. Two possession game now. Martin, four point lead. Para sa Emilio Aguinaldo College. Pasqua calmly knocking down two crucial free throws. Giving a five point lead for the Generals. Balikan natin ang huddle ng Perpetual Help. Let's listen in. Coach Jim Walgikan and uh, active consultant Nick Omarogbe. Uh, where's Rome? Move, move. So, Rome, you stay here. You stay low. Uh, Jack. No, no, no. Uh, Gab, Gab. So, you, uh, you stay here. So, three, you go screen for five, five, kick two. Open out pass, catch and shoot it. If not, we end up playing picking up. They want to get a good screen, sign a big guy, and then the big guy would give a screen to the shooter para makakuha sila ng isang look for a quick three. They're looking for that quick three-pointer, Martin, with 31 seconds remaining. Down by five. We've had nine lead changes. Three deadlocks. Dumamang ng onse kanina ang EAC. Perpetual help. Three-point lead over the steal by Onwabere. Onwabere on a breakaway. Onwabere fouled by Dagamon. What a steal there. It was in the hands of Gap Dagamon. Binadali niya yung tira na yun. It was a great. Tira mo makikita mo. Ang ganda ng screen sa kanya eh. Libre yung tira. Kasi umano versus Sidney Onwabere. Sumabit siya sa screen. Dagamon. Has nothing to do but foul Onwabere. Sends Sidney back to the line. Where he is five from seven from the free throw strike, 71 percent this afternoon. Bere still down. What a game for Sydney on Bere. That man, 21 points, 17 rebounds. Wombini in that. Si Sydney on Bere. Hope it's nothing serious again. Few games back, they already lost Hamadou Lamino with that season ending injury. This is not a good sight to see. I think he he felt that the whack netani gap da gangon. One of their best free throw shooters is Francis Munsaya. Munsaya, six a free throw to give the Generals a six-point lead over the Altas. Coach Ariel Cizot looking to his bench. Sayak knocks down both. A seven-point game now. The chances of perpetual help are slimming down to come back in this game. How desperation three! Still not lost in the woods yet. Four-point game. And EAC will call their final timeout. Pahinga natin ang panig ni Coach Ariel Season. Francis! Dudong! Dudong! Diyan mo ni Coach Bondar, ha? Okay, Coach. Jeko! Jojo! Wait! Pick! Oh! Huwag ka pumunta ng corner, ha? Ubapot kayo dyan! Pagbala, ay, Francis! Koto, pagbala lang yan ito, ano, Jeko, dito, dudung! Dun ka, papauli yan, sigurado! Alapas ka lang dito, ha? Francis! Oo, oh, pagbala ka agad! Eh, hey, pagbala mo ang bola dito, Francis! Hawakan mo lang! Huwag ka na mo na mag-ibot! They will foul on you! Okay? Come on! Magiging importante dito yung quick inbound nila. Uh, Raymond Pasqua is one of the ones that they're going to play. Francis Munsayak, they're playing a two-guard. 
big lineup ito makita natin dun sa may cut pala sa kamay itong si Sidney on Rubere dun sa atake niya ng kanina 20 seconds remaining both teams already in the penalty no timeouts remaining for both oh a crucial turnover Garcia that pass that was perpetual help how Inside Ilagan. Magalino was able to tip it in. Down to two. Big play right there by Magalino. Forcing a turnover. Magalino. First two points. Padre Magalino came. That's right. What a time. How? He thought about the three. He saw Bautista charging to him. Because he lagged the tip in there, timely tip in by Rom Bangalino. That is legal. We're playing FIBA rules as long as the ball is inside the center. Pwede mo pa tapikin, offense or defense. Mga kapampangan talaga, marunong, uh, marunong makaamoy ng bola. Kapampangan yan si Rom Bangalino eh. Rom Bangalino. In seven games played, just averaging more than five minutes per game. What a crucial tip in there, but he was hit on the mouth. He will head to the bench. And coming in, for Rob Mangalino, si Lucente. Kervin Lucente, here's Crucial free throw for the little general. He gets that one. Shady for your free throw. Oh, oh. But he got up. seven points in the last 30 seconds. You just need to hold on to that ball. It's a two possession ball game. He is perfect at the line today. You see Francis Munsayak, an 87% free throw shooter. One of the better free throw shooters in this season. Four point game, 7.5. No timeouts remaining for both. Casas. How? Three. Casas tried to get the ball back, and Emilio Aguinaldo College escapes with a 61 to 57 victory. And the final score is 61 57. Coach Ariel Ciso and the boys from Ernita Manila get their win number four. Both three teams playing hard defense, and on the end of the ball game, Isra Mapuedi Manalo, the AC Generals. Converting their free throws and making it count. And perpetual help goes down to four and six. That's our final score. 61. Para sa Emilio Aguinaldo College. 57. Para sa University of Perpetual Health System Delta Altas. Our cherry for PGM Tangkad Sagad scorer of the game is none other than this man, Martin Sidney On Ubere, EAC's leading scorer. Who averages 32 minutes per game, 14 points, 11 boards, two assists, and two blocks per outing. He did play 40 minutes in their last game. Scored 22 points and 14 boards, five assists, five blocks. But today, the numbers of this man, Martin, 21 points, 17 big rebounds, crucial stops, forcing the offense to really run and getting stops on defense. Four of 10 from beyond the arc, 40%. Also added three assists and a, a single block. Para kay Sydney on Wobere, our cherry for PGM, Takat Sagad, scorer of the game. Mga laro natin sa Martes, a 29 ng Agosto, sisimulan ng Jose Rizal University Heavy Bombers at ang Mapua University Cardinals. Alas dos ng hapon, live sa SNA. Susundan, napakaganda ng laro din. San Beda College taking on Arellano. University, the seven and one Red Lions against the three and five Chiefs, two teams that met in the finals last season. Last playing date of our first round before the festivities. Also the on Friday. Friday. Game on Friday. But I mean, naman tayong makikita ang mga players na talaga magpapasya ng gilas. And you will participate. I mean, you will not participate, but you will call for the shootout, for the skills challenge, and then we'll also have the three point shootout. And also the slam dunk, all slam dunk competition, and then the All Star game happening on Friday next week. Thank you for watching the NCAA All Our Three games this afternoon. Arellano winning over CSB 87-81 in the first game, and then Lyceum of the Philippines University winning over Mapua University 97 to 74.
And then, Wagi, ang Emilio Aguinaldo, 61 to 57 against Perpetual Health for Martin Antonio, a.k.a. Coach Hammer, Roxanne Montealegre, Director Abbott Ramos, our game producer, Manny Gabutina, Pong Ducanes, Rico Bayuga, Miki Mirabueno, ako po si Andre Felix. Have a great weekend. We'll see you all on Tuesday for more NCAA on SNA.